Hi, I'm Betty Bickers, a psychotherapist in private practice in Santa Ana. This is part two of my series on stress management. Today we're going to talk about what stresses people out generally, as well as asking you to consider what stresses you out currently. Also, we're going to talk about how stress can affect the physical body, our emotional well-being, and our intellectual functioning. Stressors can be anything that you care about. For most of us, this involves our personal finances, our home life, our relationships with the people we care about. It can also involve our neighbors, our communities, our cities, states, country, as well as global concerns that we might have and keep us up at night. What stresses you out can be very personal to you, and other people may not understand why you're so concerned about things. The fact is, whatever upsets you and bothers you, upsets and bothers you, and it doesn't have to be validated or agreed upon by other people for it to bother you. How stress shows up for us is also very unique. It can show up in our physical bodies, high blood pressure, rapid heart rates, muscle tension, gastrointestinal problems, difficulty with our stomachs, having diarrhea, constipation can also be signs that we're under a lot of stress. Physical illness also can attack us more because our immune systems are negatively affected by our stress response cycle. So getting more colds and flu are typical of people that are under stress. How stress can show up for us emotionally is often in terms of irritability, short-temperedness, lack of being able to be present when we're around other people, perhaps it's a desire, desire to withdraw, be by ourselves. It can also lead to depression and anxiety. So paying attention to our stress levels is the first line of defense in terms of our mental health. In terms of our intellectual functioning, or how smart we are, how clearly we're thinking, stress can definitely affect our concentration and our memory. It affects our ability to do math, to use grammar correctly, and actually it affects our ability to judge distances. So just as you're having your worst day, you're likely to get into a fender bender in a parking lot if you're not careful because you're not judging distances as well when you're under stress. That's why it's really important to be very careful before we get into the car and drive somewhere when we're highly stressed. For each of us, stress can show up in our bodies, our emotional well-beings, and our intellectual functioning, or any one of these three. Again, stress is the unique response that each of us has to a threat or demand in our environment. In our next episode, we're going to talk about specific strategies to manage stress and stuff that over time has proved to help reduce our stress responses and our stress levels. So please, until our next time, stay well. Thanks for joining me.